A Zimbabwe national has come up with a way to use trees or other rural landmarks to educate people. Known as Trees of Knowledge, its aim is to improve access to education through smartphones in Africa. A tree or a rural landmark can be used to broadcast a Wi-Fi connection, providing access to preloaded educational content. The brain behind the idea, Academy of Robotics CEO and founder William Sachiti, based in London, and joins us now via Skype. William, I think many people will say, what a brilliant idea. We know that trees can breathe, but I did not know that they can be used to transmit, to transmit signals. Good morning. Firstly, it's a pleasure to be here this morning. Uh, yes, well, this is a bit of a wild idea I had because um, I've seen the progression of technology and how it gets cheaper and cheaper, and we can fit really large computing into such a small form factor. So I realized that the biggest problem to education is um, you can get educated very easily via the Internet, via watching uh, videos online, be this through YouTube or some other online course system. So in Africa, we just don't have that level of connectivity, which is super fast broadband constantly like we do here. So it came to me that why don't we take advantage of very small computers for the benefit of your viewers? When I say a small computer, I mean this is as powerful as most powerful laptops today. A computer this small and within that computer, we preload loads of video content, and then we make a tree broadcast this out. So anybody with any sort of smartphone or tablet or computer, if they're close to this tree, they're able to access all the educational content that we loaded onto that computer. And that's the general concept. Now, is a concept that that little computer will sit on a tree? Yes, absolutely. So there are ways now in which you can encase that computer in absolutely solid brick-like glass whilst it's inside the tree, meaning there's no point trying to get it out because you'll break it. It, is, it literally becomes embedded into the tree. So yes, we put it into the tree, but with a power source that's designed to last about a year and we embed it right into the tree so that it can't get really stolen or it will be protected from the elements. Now, how far are you in, 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 in making this a reality? So the, the problem I had is my day job in the UK is I have a company which designs and builds self-driving cars. Now, this keeps me so busy. And this is a project that I always wanted to do, but I realized I just didn't have the time. So instead, I put it out as an 18-page white paper and guide. What this essentially means is I gave away all the schematics all the designs for free for anybody to create this. And we're very lucky that within the first year of us publishing it, I've been contacted by some of the largest NGOs in the world who want to have samples ready within 14 days. And this is not just for Zimbabwe or South Africa, it's across most of Africa, because the stats that people don't know is that about, according to UNESCO, about 34 million kids in sub-Saharan Africa alone don't actually go to school. Uh, the reasons are complicated because of poverty, plus schools are far, lack of teachers, or when they do have schools, the big thing is that many who do go to school actually go to school under a tree. So this innovation is not as wild as it sounds when you think that a lot of people are going to school somewhere where it's a long walk away under a tree already. All we're doing is substituting or rather supporting the teacher with a digital archive of video instead. Okay, no, thank you very much. Wonderful idea. Hopefully those NGOs will be able to implement it. Thank you. William Sachiti, Academy of Robotics CEO and founder, talking to us via Skype from London.